What's up guys, welcome back to Modded Rimworld, where we just crashed land and we've set up some, some hasty structures so we can hopefully survive. Uh, I've been given fair warning that apparently the animals will migrate away during winter, so we need to really, really stock up on food, which I was kind of planning on uh, with the farming aspect, but not necessarily the hunting aspect. I figured the, the animals would be here. Oh my, did they leave already? That's terrible. Nope, here they are. Here they are. We should hunt them. I believe I said we were going to hunt them this episode, so we're just going to hunt them now. Do we tame? I don't think we tame them. I think we eat them. Uh, but we do need to get refrigeration set up. So maybe not hunt them yet. Let's let's cancel that. Let's get refrigeration and power set up. This feels like a pretty good spot to set up a couple of wind turbines, perhaps a, uh, a solar generator. So let's go ahead and set up some wind turbines. We're even going to be taking that. Oh no, there's the roof there though. Ooh. Well, I guess we can put this here and that'll be fine. Uh, I'm hoping there won't be any trees in this area. There, I mean, trees could just pop up whenever they feel like it. Uh, I guess as the nature of trees. I I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, <laughs> so, so I know at the uh, at the end of last episode, I was supposed to name you guys, and I actually went ahead and named you guys. And uh, for those of you that can't read your names over the top, I will go ahead and read that in just a moment. But I do want to see if maybe I want to set another one up. I think I'm just going to do a couple of solar generators. And then maybe have a little battery shack just like kind of attached to this building for the time being. Uh, it's this is this is not going to be our base. I think I'm mostly going to use this stuff for like hasty sort of defenses and structures and such uh, because I have an idea that I wouldn't mind trying to do. I got a suggestion to build a base uh, in the shape of a ship or possibly build a base out of ship parts, which. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to do that, but building a uh, an actual ship type layout is something that I think we might be able to do. Uh, so I think what we might actually try to do soon is start planning out some basic ship parts. So by ship layout, I mean we're going to have like a, a cockpit type area that's probably going to be our comms console. Uh, we're going to have small little rooms for everyone kind of in the same area. Uh, and we're just going to have the different rooms. I guess like if you would imagine a, a fairly large ship. Uh, how it would be kind of compartmentalized. We're gonna do something like that. Uh, hopefully everyone's mood's gonna be okay. Did we set up any... I don't think we set up any joy stuff. Let's get some horseshoes real quick. So I guess just right here for now. Um, yeah, joy stuff. But my my idea was to build a base in the layout of a ship and then I, I, I mean I feel like I can see it in my head but I'm trying to explain it to you guys, but I don't really feel like drawing the whole thing out. Uh, so say we have a big ship, like this big. We just make a giant box. Uh, then in the center of the ship, we're going to have an unroofed area we're gonna, we're, where we're going to build, excuse me, uh, where we're going to build the actual ship. So it's going to be like a, a ship in a ship. So I guess a ship in a bottle, but a ship in a town? I, I don't know. We're not going to build a hangar. We're going to build the ship inside of the ship layout. That's my idea. So hopefully it all works out. Let's talk about peoples in just a moment. Let's let's let me finish the power thing so I don't forget. We'll go ahead and get uh, a couple of solar generators up, and we'll power these guys through the wall. Run this guy up here like this, and then we'll need to get uh, some some cooling in here. That way we can actually store stuff properly. Let's go ahead and get this going. We'll probably need two, to be honest with you. I guess we'll go here and here. Oh, it's already occupied. Okay, let's go this, this. We'll put them there and there. Uh, I think they'll still be able to walk here to build that. Oh, well, they can build it from the inside. It'll be fine. Okay, so now that that's set up, we need to do just a small little battery room. Uh, and I do mean a small little, like, battery shed. So I'm probably going to do... Let's see, we'll have it come in, like, from here. So I'm going to put in... Uh, probably just three batteries. I'll have it like here, here, so we'll do... no. Okay, <laughs> time out, time out. The wall there, that'll let me get two batteries in here and then I'll have another one just on top of them. Uh, like so. Do I want to do this? Can I, I... I mean I guess I could build it out one more and fit more batteries in. I, I could. Do we need more than three batteries right now? Trying to decide. I would only get one more. I'm just gonna do it this way, guys. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna do it this way because it's what I originally planned on. So yeah, we'll put a battery here, a battery here, and then we'll just stagger one on top, and then that'll mean they can't get over here to repair this, which makes me sad. 
I guess they could get it from the corner. Guys, this isn't working out. None of this is working out. What if we do one in the corner, one in the corner, and then one right here? I like it. That's what we're going to do. Okay. That plan has been planned. I almost said achieved. I guess you can achieve a plan if you really, really try. We'll even double door it. We'll even double steel door it. That's a waste of materials. We're not going to double steel door it. Um, because we don't have much materials, especially in the way of wood. Alright, let's, uh, we got a lot of stuff going on right now. My day's been kind of crazy. I slept for about three hours last night after recording everything for the channel and making, like, the art and stuff. Uh, getting everything uploaded. I ended up getting about, did I say three hours of sleep? I went to bed at three. I got about four and a half hours of sleep. Woke up bright and early because I just woke up for some reason. Uh, and then had a nice long day of construction work around the outside of the house. We're doing some, basically some roofing stuff. Um, very, very tedious. It's, I mean, it's simple stuff. It's just, it's the tedious, like, kind of laborious stuff. And it just, I don't know. It's really draining. It's really draining. Uh, so I'm, I'm coming off that right now, getting ready to record, I guess, Wednesday's lineup for you guys. Kind of looking forward to being able to just relax and put my feet up and play some video games. This town is coming along nicely. Or, I, I mean, this is. Where are we going to build if I'm going to do the ship thing? I think I might do it right here. That way we can we can still use this section for stuff, but I think we're going to build it right here. So then we can put up defenses here, 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 and here, and then be okay. Uh, I've been told there are like four geothermals in range. There's another one right there. Uh, so, let's see. There's one, two, three... I don't, I don't see the other one. I might just be missing it. Maybe this was for the zombies? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to overlap some stuff that happens and get it a little mixed up. But hopefully that won't happen too often. Okay, so we have people that they crashed and now they're just going to be here. Ooh, that's, a, that's an assault rifle. Who wants an assault rifle? Who can shoot and wants an assault rifle? Uh, so I guess now would be a good time... While the game is paused, I'm trying to decide who wants an assault rifle to tell you guys who made it into the, the colony from the people that crash landed. So first up we have Malith. Next up we have Zinx, followed by Molded Salad, or I guess Molded Salah up here. Uh, then we have Svenbjorn, hopefully I'm saying that properly. JC, Hunter, Sordin, Sloth, and Dragon Feathers. I did put the I did put the S, it's just I ran out of room. Uh, so guys, welcome to the colony. Now, for those actually interested, uh, I am actually using the same list for colonists uh, from... I should keep this paused so we can get this stuff. I'm using the same list of colonists for both this series and the zombie series. So you might end up in either one of those. If you would like to be in one specifically, you can let me know and I'll just make a note saying like only zombies or, or something like that. But so far, uh, unless I have a little note, I'm just picking from the same list because... I figure most of you are going to be watching zombies anyways. Even if you don't necessarily like zombies, it's still RimWorld. I, I would recommend checking it out. Uh, let's let's get a gun. Who wants who wants a gun? I feel like you do, Malith. We're going to give your pistol to someone else. It's not a very good pistol. This one's a terrible pistol, but it's at least something. Uh, maybe Svenbjorn wants it. We'll give this to Svenbjorn. And, I mean, we have food that we could take. So I feel like we should grab the melons and the chocolates and the corn and stuff. So let's grab JC no Sordin? Hall stuff. Sloth? No. Dragon? Yes. So we'll get that. What is this? Coffee? That's not really that important. Um what else do we have? An eye patch, a peg leg peg leg. Excellent. Uh Zinks, can you haul this? Yes, you can. That means Hunter is gonna be up and about right now. And I don't have to build a thing. JC, can you shoot? Not necessarily, but, you know, you're. we'll give you the bow for right now. Sordon has a shiv. Is there a better melee weapon over here? that We can get some Molotovs going on. Uh, sloth. I mean, Molotovs, Sloth, wouldn't, wouldn't you like some of that? I feel like you would. For some reason, I, I think Sloth has to be a Grenadier. I'm not certain, but we're going to give you some Molotovs. I'm not 100% on that. Is there another weapon I can give Dragon? Do I want an eye patch or a wooden foot? I mean, I feel like the wooden foot's not a terrible idea. She's hauling watermelons already, though. So I guess we'll we'll hang out. This is a, a good quality military helmet. I think maybe we'll give that to Zinx. And then he can carry the leg back. 
Come on, Zinx. You gotta you gotta get up there, buddy. Okay, prioritize hauling that. Don't eat the chocolate, right? Everyone's just like, eat chocolate time? Yeah, it, it's eat chocolate time. By the fire, eat the chocolate. Uh, Dragon is busy. Malith is eating more chocolate, and Sloth is eating more chocolates. And there's oats, but I don't know if we can actually do anything with these. We can cook it. I don't know if we can cook it now. Everyone's just eating chocolate. You're going to consume oats? I want you to haul the oats, actually. Sloth is like, well, time for some oats. Uh, JC is on fire? No, those are dandelions growing, but they're also on fire at the same time. I feel like you guys need to leave. Sloth, can you carry this with you? You're not hollow. Molded salad, can you carry this with you? Just in case? Just bring it back with you. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. Poor mood. Someone's grumps. Svenbjorn is super grumps. He's gonna go get this pistol. Why are you so slow, Svenbjorn? You're starving. You're frail with a bad back, cataracts, and dementia. I'm so sorry, Svenbjorn. I'm sorry that happened. You're the slowest person. He's not gonna get any food. It's all gonna be gone. Uh, let's get the coolers in. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, but, prosthetics is installed, so we should be able to remedy that. I'm going to turn off our little list thingy because we don't really need it right now. We do have a lot of steel, so this is going to get built. It's going to work out. It'll be fine. Um, rice should be done at some point. I think we need to grow a bigger field of rice, to be honest with you. Let's just grow a huge field of rice. Uh, I, th I feel like I passed the rice, though. Rice is right there. We'll grow a huge field of rice. And that'll kind of slowly stagger our food production. So yeah, I feel like the ship, this is going to be a pretty good spot. I think we can build out to, like, pretty close to the edge. Yeah, so we'll build it. Uh, I'll mark this as our edge for right now. So we'll build it kind of like right here-ish in a, a ship-like shape. And then we'll make sure we leave a nice space in the middle. Uh, to build the actual ship, and we'll see how that treats us. I liked that idea, and I, I definitely wanted to try to incorporate that. So we have our cooler set up. Let's uh, set these down to, I guess there, we have a visitor. And this this isn't working, I'm clicking the wrong buttons. We'll set them down to 16 degrees for right now, just because, well, why not? Our food is getting nice and frozen. Bills, butcher creature. We could go cannibal, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to go animal, and we're going to do this, and this can have animal corpses in it. Animal corpses. There we go. Now we will set these guys to get hunted, as well as these muffalo to get hunted. Okay, so next order of business. Uh, batteries. Batteries would be really solid. And then also an indoor storage area. There we go. So we'll get three batteries. We'll store up some power, we'll see how it goes. Zinx and Dragon Feathers playing a little bit of horseshoes together. JC hanging out, walking around. Hunter, let's go ahead and install that peg leg for you. Uh, right leg, install. Peg, peg leg, right leg, there we go. Now, do we have a solid doctor? Uh, we actually do. Svenbjorn, actually, we're going to take you off because you have the cataracts and the dementia. Uh, so not so much you, but JC and Sorden, not terrible. Not terrible at all. JC is actually really good. Um, what are you doing? You're wandering. Well, why don't you... You need material... Oh, are we out of medicine? <sighs> that sucks. Can we make the medicine from here? No, we can't. Cook a simple meal. I'm just gonna let you guys make it out of whatever you can find at this point. And do it until you have, I guess... 20 of them? We should be okay on power for the, the freezers, so we're gonna let this go. Uh, beans. Did we get any beans going? I think we're going to need a lot more beans than that. So let's go ahead and make a bigger growing zone. We really need to stock up on food, guys. Like, we really, really, really need to stock up on food. Bean plants. There we go. Uh, these guys. We're going to switch these guys. Are they, They're growing, though. I would be wasting that. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait and change them to tomatoes, if I remember. Uh, stuff needs to get hunted, and we do not have a hunter. Does someone have a shotgun? I think Zinx does. Zinx has a good pump shotgun, so Zinx is going to be our hunter. So if you would hunt, I need to switch these over to manual priorities still. Uh, which I just, I, I look at this and I'm just like, that seems like a lot of work. I, I feel like I don't necessarily want to do that right now. And then I continue with my life. <laughs> 
So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, I do remember we need to get some aloe going. So we'll go ahead and get some aloe going back here. We'll get a... I don't know. I'm kind of trying to keep everything all squared up, which you guys can see. Maybe a, a couple rows of aloe. I mean, what else are you guys going to do? You need to plant stuff. And the aloe is for, if I remember correctly, it's for the the like herb med kit that we can get going. Alright, so Sloth is cooking oats into a meal. That's fine. Can we actually just straight up cook these into something else? Like porridge, perhaps? We can cook two porridge from, I'm assuming, a, oh, wheat. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oats, nice. Okay, so I'll put the porridge up there. Um, I'm not actually sure. Food effects, sight and blood filtration. I'm confused and interested. Do it until you have ten of them, I suppose. And we'll we'll grow some oats, I guess. Let's uh delete this section right here. I meant to do a little bit further than that. We'll grow the aloe there. And we'll we'll grow some oats, I suppose. Uh oats? Oats though. Oats. There we go. Sorted. Zinx doing a great job hunting them elephants. Molded salad. Got an elephant tusk. I feel like that's what he's holding. And we have a raid! Excellent! Cheetahs attacking immediately. Christy with a steel shiv. I don't think you're gonna make it. We have we have some guns. We have some guns, Christy. In fact, we have completely open terrain. Malif, if you would you're so elephant revenge, that sounds terrifying. Zinx, you might need to run. You're reloading the weapon. Uh Malith might need to help with the elephant. Sword, you need to run out of the way. Zinx, you need to run this way right now. Uh, Dragon, if you want to... Not really have a pistol. JC has a bow. JC, if you want to come out here, your your bow range is pretty solid. Wait, sword! Keep kiting. Okay, good. We're okay. We're okay. Now, Malith, if you want to come over here and just basically shoot Christy as she comes around the corner, that would be fantastic. We'll undraft you guys. There we go. It's beautiful. Now, didn't we get the... We got an elephant tusk right here. Is this a solid melee weapon? Uh, I think it's probably pretty good. Deadly, but somewhat unwieldy as a weapon. I think it would probably be better to sell. Uh, so, indoor storage area, and then possibly some sort of... Uh, Multi-room, apartment-style barracks section would be pretty solid. So, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. I think I, I set this up. Did I not set this up to do forever? Do forever. There we go. There we go. Malith is hanging out over here. Christy's going to walk around that corner soon, and Malith, got him. Come on, though. Careful shooter. It's... it's going. You're going to... You're going to disappoint me. Zinx, you're under attack. You have a shotgun. Great justice? Didn't you just reload, Zinx? You need to run. We need to talk about this, things. <laughs> I think I interrupted his reload. There we go. Do we capture Christy? Maybe. I mean, she's got a bad back, but other than that, we don't have any medicine we can give her. She's just gonna die from infection. Are you crazy? You got bloodlust. I don't think that... I, I think you'll be fine if you kill her. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned, I am using a sound mod uh, to change the gun sounds. Of course, there's a link in the description below. It also adds in some new guns as well. And it is supposed to be compatible with combat realism. I, I, so far, I haven't seen any problems. But then again, I didn't have much time to test this pack. So let's uh, maybe do an apartment-style barracks right here. And then we can build a storage area right here. And then maybe turn this into like a little tiny makeshift crafting room for the time being. Uh, so let's plan this out. So let's go. We're going to need to make it pretty big. I'll keep it in line with this. Uh, let's call let's call tree center. So we'll go out maybe like nine, and I am gonna bring it up like this. Not that I need to. Let's see. They acknowledged my hospitality. That's fantastic. I was worried. I wasn't. Um, so we're gonna do this. So this is gonna be our central hall. So maybe we'll do like four. How many people are there? We have two, four, six, eight, nine people. Uh, so if we do four rooms, I guess, and put three people in each, we'll have enough space for 12 people. 
I want to make them fairly large, that way people have enough room. So this is going to be our main hallway, so I guess I probably shouldn't have planned that out. Uh, so we'll do maybe a three wide hall that goes all the way through like this. And we can probably just cut it off. How, how big do I want this to be? Maybe 11. Bring you up like this. Is this going to work? Maybe. This should be the center. Right? Yeah. Yep, that's the center. Okay, great. So we're going to have this for, uh, for the housing situation right now. So we'll have the doors here. Uh, probably just some crappy scrap walls for right now. How terrible do these look? They don't actually care, apparently. So that's fine. I guess it maybe gets factored into this right here. Uh, the the beauty of or the wealth of the room, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go scrap metal because it's cheap and quick to put up. You know, you you crash land on a planet, you got to work with what you got, and right now we have scrap metal, uh, and I really really like scrap metal, guys. I know I keep saying it, I love it. I love this scrap metal. I just I like the idea behind it. It makes sense. You wouldn't spend time making like a super fancy steel wall, like a, a solid block of steel. You wouldn't do that in the beginning. You would have scrap metal and sheet metal lying around or whatever you could find. Uh, maybe we're, you know, I guess RP wise using slag from the ship. We found some pieces and we're putting rooms together and that's what we got going on. Uh, I feel like I need to get some lights up though. We have Muffalo Revenge, which didn't work out in any way. Thankfully all of them didn't attack, just the just the one. Why, I'm not sure why that's... Zinx, you're getting pretty scary with that shotgun. I'm just going to say that right now. Is someone going to come haul this? Okay, Dragon's going to come haul it. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, you would just you would use what you got going on. And right now we have scrap metal going on. So, I like it. Let's get some lights. Let us get some lights. So we have ceiling lights now. Uh, these path lights, I couldn't get them to work. I believe in the mod page it says they're not actually working yet. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, they actually go on the floor. It says it's a, a built-in solar panel that lights an area. Maybe they'll work now that I'm recording? I don't know. We'll put one there. Uh, it doesn't actually take any power. Like, it doesn't require a connection. So that's kind of neat. Um, so we'll just put one there and see if it works. Other than that, I like the new ceiling light just because it doesn't actually show up from what I remember. Hopefully we can get some bamboo soon and actually put in some bamboo floors for you guys to enjoy. And again, we'll use this kind of area as a storage cl storage slash crafting area. Speed up time a little bit. We need to haul these rocks. Are we on are we on Cassandra? I don't remember. I think we're on Cassandra because I said it's been a while since we played on Cassandra. Let's uh, mine out the last bit of our steel and maybe set up a graveyard area. Uh, maybe like right here. I don't know. I don't really want people visiting these guys. I guess we could butcher them and then sell the, the meat and the leather. I don't think these people would do that. I don't think that's, you know, I, I don't think they would. I'm just going to say that right now. You guys wouldn't do that. I know you wouldn't. So let's go ahead and engrave these guys. Um, I guess we'll put it... Let's see, this is just going to be like our, our trash pile, for lack of a better name. Uh, so I guess we'll put our graves here. So we'll just build a nice little row of them for right now, and then we'll copy-paste, make sure no columns go in there, and then we'll build a, uh, a little sarcophagus type room. Restrictions need to do the anything, whenever, time, thing. So let's get that going. Great. No pets. It was so weird playing uh, the first episode of Zombies and then not using Crash Landing. And we have a dog. It's, it's like, I was super excited. We have a dog. People are taking bets on when it's going to die. Uh, but we have a dog. <laughs> so let's go humans. That's a mad animal. Uh, no colonists. Copy. Paste, 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 paste 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 it doesn't really matter because it's an awful grave there are quality to graves that's interesting that is interesting a local hair has gone mad I'm fine with this it's gonna go for Sven Bjorn I'm not fine with this molded salad if you could reload and uh, reload 
And Dragon, if you could maybe come over here. You guys want to get the bunny. It's going for Svenbjorn. Don't... There, look at Dragon. If you could reload, though. Malith, if you could reload as well. Zinx is going to do a little bit of hunting. I'm going to stop him to reload. We have a good amount of meat coming in, which is fantastic feeling. Uh, we should get rice for the next few days. Squash is ready to harvest. Squash grows fast, guys. Squash grows fast. I don't think this works right now. I'm fairly confident it doesn't work, but it's going to be neat when it does. You can see it's got like that little blue solar panel type thing going on, and you just put them in the floor like that. They don't require a power connection. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of keep my eye on that mod to make sure I update it when it becomes ready to go. Bamboo, taking a while. More rice, taking a little bit longer. This is beans, taking even longer. Squash, guys. Grow some squash, my goodness. Maybe I should switch something out for squash. I don't know. Let's get some doors up and actually get you guys moved in, though. Um, I feel since I'm being so stingy with my wood, I shouldn't even use it here. I would love scrap metal doors. I think I've said that before. We still love scrap metal doors. Let's go ahead and use... We'll use a little bit of wood for these doors, guys. We'll use 125 of our precious, precious wood so you guys can have wooden doors. <laughs> Uh, we are out of steel over here, and we're almost out at the top. Where's our next area? Over here, actually. Not bad. And we do have cow skin available, so we can start working on making making some parkas or something, maybe. Uh, let's get a light in here. I'm not actually sure if this wall light will interfere with the zone. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted to rotate it. Uh, so let's let's find out together, I suppose. Let's put one right here on the corner. And we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Please don't interfere. It's probably going to. No, it didn't. Great. I love it. Now, how, how much power do these take? 50. The ceiling light takes 150. So we're going to do these little wall lights. Um, we'll put... Let's see. That's two away from the corner. So we'll go two away from the corner. And we'll do the same over here. I want to make sure it's lit up. I guess I could probably do the same thing with one ceiling light in the, the middle, but I like how this looks. And we'll get a ceiling light in here for the eating area. And I think what we'll do for furniture for right now is just do this, uh, this draggable modular table made out of steel, of course. Drag it across here and then we'll put uh, some stuff this way. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I should... Move it back. I think that might interfere with the benches. It actually might be nice to have a little gap there. That'll be okay. Uh, so yeah, there's modular chairs as well, so it makes like a little picnic-style bench. And it looks pretty neat. Oats are growing. Bedroom is relatively set up. Um, do we have any really cheap floors we could set up? Not particularly. We nil. We, we, we nil. We still need to till the ground. Um, we can do concrete, which I don't necessarily want to do. I don't know if it's better to just be on dirt than concrete. I'm not actually sure. We're going to need heaters soon. So we'll probably set up uh, some some power behind this building as well. Hmm. Let's till some soil, guys. Let's till our potatoes first. We'll do our potatoes and our bamboo for right now. I'm sorry that Hunter has to kind of just lay there for the time being. It'll be great when you can do things. I'm super looking forward to that. Uh, but right now is, is not the time. So if I were in a barracks, I mean, I could probably swing the, the royal beds. We would need 12 of them. Can't swing 12 of them right now. We don't have that much steel on us. But I guess we could mine it. Do I really want to use all of our steel on royal beds at the moment when we just landed? I don't think so. Again, sort of role-playing wise, I don't think so. Let's give you guys some nice green beds. Some nice green steel beds. Maybe we'll put these... We do one, two... We do one, two... We'll, we'll do this. We'll do it like this, and then you guys will have... Uh, maybe like a chess table in each room or something like that. There we go. So now we have space for you guys. 35 steel apiece. This feels pretty good. Poor quality, poor quality, poor quality, normal shoddy shoddy poor it's better than the floor though I'm just gonna say that right now it's better than the floor Zinc's doing the best he can 
which is apparently shoddy. So we have nine. We have nine. Let's go and do this. Hunter needs to be rescued, though, and placed in a bed. So now uh, people will sleep in these, and I guess I'm going to... I don't want anyone taking these beds right now. I want people to be together. So I'm going to lock that door for the time being. And also chop down this tree, because it's now inside, and it won't grow. Power situation is holding strong, which makes me feel good. Let's get a steel linkable stool. Is this? That won't work, but this will. So six people can eat at any given time, which I'm fine with. That's okay. People have a nice little eating spot. Now, I know eventually we'll need a bigger kitchen, um, because the, the vegetable garden mod, the gourmet stuff, it adds a lot. It has a lot of stuff. Let's check it out. I don't even know if we can have all of it researched or anything like that. We have a canning stove, cook stove, dispenser, milling stone. Um, I believe it even adds the tailor's loom. And then we can get the brewery still. Uh, we can get candy making. And I think that's it. This right here, we're totally going to squash this, guys. We're going to we're gonna delete that and we're going to squash it. Because squash is goods. Goods, good stuffs. This has all been tilled. Let us till some more soil. Maybe since we're growing the beans, once these beans get harvested, we'll do corn in this whole section. I'll go ahead and till all of this to kind of just remind myself of that. There we go. Till all this soil. Now normally you would of course till the soil before you planted things, uh, but not in RimWorld. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you obviously can till things, or till the ground before you put the growing zone there, but one of those planning ahead things. This doesn't work. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. We have a lot of meat, not a lot of vegetables. All of our vegetables get eaten fairly quickly. We have 10 porridge, which feels cool. And we also have 20 simple meals, which feels great. We could can stuff in case we ever run out of power, uh, but I think we're okay for right now. This stuff really needs to get roofed in. Really, really needs to get roofed in. And oh my goodness, you guys, I just looked at the time. So I think that is going to actually wrap up this episode of Modded Rimworld. That went, that was so fast. That was like the fastest half hour I think I've ever played of Rimworld. Like nothing exciting even happened. We we mined some stuff. I guess we did a bit of hunting. We, uh, we had the single raid. It was Christy and she didn't make it very far once... Zinx got his shotgun reloaded. That was a very solid shot. We have a good amount of meat stored up. We have almost 900 meat. We have over 900 meat? No, we have over 800 meat uh, stored up. We have food for you guys to enjoy. We have lots of crops coming in, which feels really good. Uh, we even got you guys some room so you're not sleeping on the floor. We're going to have to set up some power in the next episode, as well as get the storage section set up. So, yeah, that's going to happen in the next episode, and then hopefully we'll get maybe a little raid so we can have some combat going on. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.